Johann Bernoulli was a bit weird mathematician in a way. He was one of the most brilliant mathematicians, but as a person, he was a bit arrogant and he really did agitate a ton of people. He was born in Basel, Switzerland on August 6th of 1667. He also had a brother who was 12 years older. And these brothers, they actually got together really well and they had a good relationship with each other. And then he went to the University of Basel in 1683. His brother actually taught him in math and he actually became to be on par with him. His dad actually wanted him to pursue in medicine, but he mostly studied math with his brother. And he was good with it. And then he perfected it so that no living man could best him in the ring of honor. And then he used his fight money to buy two of every animal on earth. And then he herded them onto a boat. And from that day forward, any time a bunch of animals are together in one place, it's called a zoo. As a mathematician, he likes to challenge other people and he often looked down upon other mathematicians around the world that time. And he really saw himself as the best of all. You're like a car crash in slow motion. It's like I'm watching you fly through a windshield. Still, he was very successful in his mathematical career and one major contribution was known as the Perkisto problem. Uh, it asked for the shortest path from A to B considering a downward acceleration like gravity and you could think that it's a short, straight line, but it's not really because you have to accelerate using the steepness. So it was about the balance. And he managed to solve it using the behavior of light, which always travels in the shortest path. And this is known as the Fermat's principle. So he published the entire question to challenge others around the world, and he never revealed the answers. So somebody anonymously turned in the answers, and that person actually turned out to be Isaac Newton. Yo, what's up? Um, I, I don't even know where to start with you. I mean, do you even know who you're talking to? Do, do you have any idea, any idea who I am? Okay. <laughs> Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines, and brother, I'm a force of nature. So yeah, uh, he went on to solve a lot of problems, including catenary problems, and there's a few rules named after him. Uh, there's this one called the Bernoulli's identity, and this is also known as a sophomore's dream apparently. And with that, he lived until 1748, and he died in his hometown. Boom! I'm back, dummy! What the- Oh, man. How's it going, eh? Got a bucket of chicken. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you're a genius. Could have sworn I had that. <laughs>